Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode, oh, right on cue. In the last episode, we made this Neptune launch. So basically for a giant rocket that uh, that uh, we're going to make to actually get out of here. And I want to continue with this for a little bit. Maybe do some exploration as well, see what happens. Maybe visit one of the islands as well. I don't know. One thing that I thought of, if we're launching a rocket... It doesn't really work if that turret is still online, and I don't remember if we disabled it? We'll have to see. Uh, we might go back to it, I don't know. Um, but I kind of want to make this just because we can, so we need some copper wire, lubricant, and plasteel ingot, and I'm pretty sure all of that is fairly easily obtainable. Titanium ingot is easy, we have plenty of lithium. Uh, what I do need to remember is... Oh, copper wire is just two copper, and I have two copper on me, if I am not mistaken. Indeed, alright, perfect then. And the sea moth is right here, so Geronimo! Oh yeah, we're here. Right, right above that cave. And I kind of want to make the thermal plant as well, so that is something else too. I love the sea moth, it's just so maneuverable. I love it. Uh, wait a minute, lubricant, 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 lubricant. Creep vine seed cluster, yep. I feel like there's less and less seed clusters around here. I don't know if that's a good... I mean, it can't be a good thing. Like, it, it can't possibly be a good thing. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, why are you so close to my base? Get out of there. Go away. Actually, I should check uh, Red Lobster's health real quick. Just as I'm Welcome seeing they over here. Active. Just to make sure they're not actually, like, um... Damaging this thing. Nope, you're good. You just need more power, and I only have one moon pool. That's something else. I could use another moon pool. Because we have two machines. Oh well. Uh, you're offline. Oh dear, you're offline. But I don't need. Don't really need that much power, to be honest, at this point in time. I just want to make the thermal plant just because I think it would be cool. Go ahead and do that. Just, uh, it doesn't hurt having some reserve, you know. Uh, okay, let's make some lubric lubricant and then go ahead and get some copper wire. I need to get, I think it's 10 titanium ore, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and I need to finish these signs. That's right. What did we need for to make those? Uh, interior pieces. I kind of want a nuclear reactor, just because it's cool. Light up small conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. Maybe I need to make that. Maybe that. That's a lot of stuff that I haven't made. I probably should also... Okay. Maybe we'll go through and look at all the things we haven't made and go ahead and make them. Expand the base a little. Maybe. Uh, cobble wire. Right. That's why I haven't made the rest of the signs. Because I am not that rich with copper. <laughs> As it is clear. Okay. Where on earth is my titanium? That is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Counting with the bean. And if you don't know that reference well, then uh, you're new to the channel. And if you're new and haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe for more subnautica content and uh, other stuff as well. Right. Titanium and good. And I need two lithium. Lithium. Here. Nope. Magnetite. Here. Lithium. Yep. Lithium. Got it. Music is perfect. This game and its music is like perfect. It's great. Okay, so that's a plasteel ingot. Should have enough to actually go ahead and make the entire thing now. So we can unpin that. I'm gonna go through and pin some stuff that we haven't actually made yet. I know I'll be needing the advanced wiring kit. Uh, if I am to make that thing. Um, I'll actually unpin those. I want to pin the stuff that we haven't actually gone ahead and made yet. Emergency flotation device. Air bladder. Is that for if you're down in the depth and need to go up fast? I kind of want to try and make that, actually. Haven't made that before. Creature decoy could be useful. Vehicle upgrades. Oh, this would be very, very cool. I can make that. Seamoth torpedo system. Seamoth torpedo system. Uh, vortex torpedo. Generates a localized gravity distortion. Load this. That could be... That could be useful. That could be useful. Just saying. So with the modification station, we could make things like... Applies 
a repulsion cannon. We can make a depth module. Like we can make this stuff because we have plastic linkages. We have enable glass. We have magnetite. We have all these things that we didn't have before. But I just can't get the dang modification status thing. <laughs> uh. Right. Ooh, wait a minute. The scanner room. Scanner room chip. Streams data from scanner rooms into the heart. I want that. Range upgrade. Speed upgrade. Oh, I, I barely use the scanner room because, like, it doesn't have that big of a range. Uh, Cyclops docking bay. Oh, so we can have the Cyclops and the Seamoth, maybe? Okay, calm down. Uh, moon pool. Could use it, but we don't need it at the moment. Thermal plant, def max allowed pin. Okay, well, fine then. <laughs> I definitely want this, though. Uh, aerogel. How do we make aerogel? Aerogel. Gel second ruby. That's so easy. That's so easy. Look at this. We just got a ruby, and then we have... Go down. I think either if I don't have it here... If I don't have it here... Then I'm sure... Should I have it outside? Yes? Yes? No? Yes? Maybe? Potentially? Mayhaps? Perhaps? There we go. Yep. That was easy. <laughs> okay, I want to make some of these upgrades. I know I was going to make the Neptune, like, launch pad thingy, but I, I kind of want to make this. I need a bladderfish. Uh, is that called a bladderfish? Is it called a bladderfish? Go away. I need to find one first. Found, yep, yeah, yep, you are named the bladderfish. Okay, cool. <laughs> makes sense, I suppose. What was that? That's just an, an eye, a floating eye, which makes sense. All right, let's go in here, go ahead and make this. Oh, I haven't seen myself running with this thing. <laughs> okay, personal tools, air bladder. I'm not gonna use question is, how big is it in the inventory? It's small, so I'm gonna... 50 seconds of oxygen. Okay. I'm gonna keep that, just in case. I wish I could unpin things from, like, out here. That would be, like, really cool. But I can't, unfortunately. Okay. Torpedo launch system. So I need two, three titanium. Boom, boom, boom. One lithium. Boom. Okay. And now, I can go ahead and make torpedoes after this, maybe. Let's just see how this is gonna go. Pretty sure I make it over here. Also, modules. Propulsion cannon. Hmm, interesting. Team of torpedo system. I want you common modules. Right. So, if I go up here, that's the storage. Need the modification thingy. Over here, access upgrades. I remove one of the depth modules. Add you. Now what? <laughs> now what? Uh, I guess I make the torpedoes. So I can make torpedoes in there. I have plenty of magnetite, and I think I remember where to get more. So... And they're only for, you know, emergencies. They're only for emergencies. Uh, maybe four is a bit overkill. Let's make three. Three sounds like a, a, a right amount, I think, because we need a lot of magnetite for a lot of other things as well. Don't want to use all of it. Right, let's go ahead. Make a torpedo, I suppose. One. That made two per. All of a sudden, they're not very expensive. <laughs> I wouldn't have said that a couple of episodes ago. Right. I don't know if I need to have them to a vehicle. Load this to a vehicle torpedo bay. Access torpedo bay. Oh, I love this. Okay, so is there a torpedo bay on each side? No, there's just one. That's fine. Access torpedo bay. Boom. Okay, that was the perfect amount. So we have torpedoes now. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, okay, let me just unpin a bunch of that so we can unpin you, unpin you, and unpin you, which means I can go down now and I can actually pin the power cell charger because I haven't made that yet. Uh, I still want the modification table. 
Indoor grow bed, flat shelf. Okay. I don't see the thermal water filtration. Where's the thermal plant? There we go. Thermal plant. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and actually build the stuff over at the Neptune launcher now, I think. Uh, we need to drop off this thing because it just got daytime time as well, so that makes sense. Have everything. Have a dead battery. That's not very useful. Get rid of that. All right, back in the sea bath, over to the Neptune thing, and then we can improve the scanner room and stuff. I'm not just gonna use those torpedoes because they're gonna be valuable. I also don't know how to launch them, so I don't want to accidentally click anything. I know this turns on the light. I assume a left mouse button launches a torpedo. They shouldn't be lethal, even though they sound like it, because it just says a gra gravitational thingy thingy majingy something something. So we should be fine, right? Don't you dare destroy this thing. This costs a lot of materials. All right. Let's get up here. I love how the animation is slow, like it's like you're moving up to something really big. I love that feeling. Okay, construct. Oh, the music is epic. Oh, I kind of wish the music would have continued. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, the music is amazing. Please tell me I can climb up that. That would be amazing as well. I see some sort of terminal being made over there. Please let there be a ladder. Let it start a ladder. Maybe it's an elevator. It's done. Let's see what we got. Whole elevator. Okay, so it is indeed an elevator, and I can activate it. Ho oh, oh. ho! This is sick! We gotta get an uh, advantage point. That we haven't had before. Look at this. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just looking at this. You know how there's this mist around this island and that island? I think it is just, like, nothing. It would look like that there could be something out there, but I don't think there is. Okay. Let's go down again, and let's see what's next on the crafting thing. Oh, this goes down fast. Ooh. Boom. Nice. Awesome. Sick. I love this. Too much. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next on this thing. I assume the Neptune launcher itself. Neptune boosters. Nickel ore. Right, that's something I do not have, so that we cannot make. But that is the next step, so I need nickel ore. I don't even know where to get nickel, honestly. I have had it before, and I've used all of it. So that's that. Alright. Swift 180, and back home. Improve the scan room, because that should be fairly simple. Make that thing for the power cell chargers, which I don't know what to use for, but I'll make it anyway, just so we have it. And then I want to make the try and make that thermal generator, and see if we can place it like... um near one of those thermal vents. And I think I need to travel with a lot. I am so Welcome sorry. Aboard, Fish, you were right in the way. I am so, so sorry, my friend. Yeah, can I? Wow, okay. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> That's so sad. Can I at least turn you into something like I killed you. I have to, like, get something out of it, I suppose. Okay. Man, that was not what I expected. <laughs> right. Water, please. Do we have... We have plenty. Stop with the flickering. Alright. Plenty of water. Get some of these in us. Nice. Perfect. So, I need a bunch of resources. I need magnetite. Two, I believe. One, that, two, and then I need four for the thermal generator as well. Then I need a computer chip. Oh dear, that would be a problem. That's gonna be a problem, cause... That's gonna need copper wire, and I don't have... 
Any copper, we'll get back to that. Uh, I need a copper for that as well. And I need a piece of gold. Need a piece of silver. Ah, I'm starting to remember where things are. Or learn, I should say. Then seven titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then another aerogel, which is a ruby. And... Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. A gel sack. There we go. Which will be right outside. And... Boop. Alright, so I need to go resource hunting anyway, it seems. So I guess that will be more exploration. That's fine. Alright, make the aerogel. I also need the... Oh, I can hold the mouse over and see. Oh, that's amazing. Didn't know that was a thing. I can remove you then. Um, so in here, I can see that advanced wiring kit. I need the wiring kit. I need two computer chips, actually. And I need two ruby as well in, in my inventory. Okay. I think no one ruby, surprisingly. I can actually go ahead and make the thermal plant. So what we're going to do now... Oh, but my inventory is so full. Uh, I'm gonna empty my inventory actually. Um, hold on now. Hold on, hold on. Trying to multitask in this is difficult. Let's make that. Because then we can plop you in here. Already had one of those. That's totally fine. That's totally, totally fine. Uh, I have rocket boosters. There we go. Where is... There we go. Already had that, apparently. <laughs> Oopsie. Right, I'm gonna put everything away. Except for five titanium, two magnetite, and one aerogel. Because... Then... Yes. No. Yes. Right, because then I can try and make the thermal plant. I don't remember if we're going in the direction where the thermal plant is located. I want to go to... Uh, actually, I don't know. I wanted to go to the right. But I kind of want to go to the left. But I also want to go to the right. Mm, left. We're going left. Let's see what we find. I wonder, can I go through this thing? I actually can. And good thing too, because... Okay, that's titanium. I need copper. Good to know there's a lot of quartz here. There's actually a lot of quartz. A lot of... Like, a lot, a lot. Oh. I remember you. Don't want to deal with you. Gold. Gold. Lead. Ah, dang it. Nope. I will take you, because that's copper. Or potentially was copper, and it turned out it was copper. You get the point. <laughs> get out of here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I haven't... I feel like I haven't been this way much. So... We'll take the trip. Do what we'll find. Pretty sure I need two of these. Uh, one, two, three, and the four. Or I meant four. Okie dokie then. We continue. More copper, more lead. Another thing here. Please be more copper. Nope, titanium. Okay. And a life pot here, which I'm pretty sure I've been to all the life pots, but I'll double check if there should be anything nearby because we all know I haven't been very thorough around these things well that's the life from the Seamoth <laughs> okay uh, anything around have to be really really thorough because I have not been thorough scannable in here nope all right looks like we're clear very good stuff Hello. Uh, okay, if we can have... Hal, you are not looking well. Okay. 
Right, I mean, I know I'm infected. Mobile vehicle big fragment, come on. Give me the modification station. Please. What do we got down here? We got some of these. It's good for copper. More titanium. More titanium. Anything down here? Silver. Aha, I thought I saw it. Inventory full. Bang. Uh, fine. Water, food. Complete waste of that. That's fine. Ah, oh, so I can't continue? I did not get far, did I? Not even a kilometer. <laughs> okay, well, I got what I needed, I guess. I think, anyway. I don't know if I got everything that I needed. Oh, well, inventory's full. Can't do anything about it. Maybe I'm having too many tools on me. Maybe I need to clear the sea moth because I have the radiation suit. In case I'm going to a radiation area, but unless I'm going to the Aurora, I don't think I'll need it. So, yeah, I probably should deal with that. All right, home, sweet home. So now that I have the copper, I can actually go ahead and make the copper wire. Which I then need to make the computer chip. Which means I can now make the scanner hut chip. Uh, I will, however, need another copper wire for the wiring kit. Right? Nope. I'll need it for another computer chip. For the advanced wiring kit. And for that, I need some silver. Which is here. I think it was two. Uh, so that is the wiring kit, then the advanced wiring kit, it's the wiring kit, and then two gold. Whew, this is a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, but it's gonna be worth it. Going up and down. Okay, advanced wiring kit. That's for the power cell charger. Then I need the two rubies. Which I left in here. And now, I can go ahead and make it so... Exterior modules, I can make that now. Uh, where is it? Power cell charger. Can charge multiple, multiple power cells simultaneously. <laughs> I could put it up there, but I don't feel like... I'll put it here, why not? I can always relocate. That's what's nice in building with Subnautica, like you don't, you, you don't lose anything. I don't feel like it's a good place, though. Maybe... Mm, nah. You know what? Deconstructing. And I'm gonna put it in here. Somewhere. On this wall. Yep, right there. Perfect. I just need to remember that I actually have it. Don't know what I'm gonna use power cells for. But now I have it. So that's good. Now I can go ahead and get the scanner room upgrade. So... We're talking scanner room hot chip and scanner room range upgrade. Scanner room, boom, and that's the chip for me. Oh, streams data from scanner room, scanner rooms to the hut. So that was for me. Can I make another range upgrade? If I have more copper, yes. That's fairly large. I can search for fragments. Oh. Oh, oh. So, wait. That's one fragment. We're going hunting. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going hunting. I just need to... We are going hunting. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, thermal power plant, yes. So, all I need is two of that, and then three fragments. I mean, e if nothing else, we're gonna get a lot of titanium from this, so... I just need to have one, two, three, four, five on me. That and the aerogel. Don't need the silver. Okay, probably should do this at daytime, but that's not happening. It doesn't say how far away, but consider... Three fragments over there? Oh dear me. All 
Let the hunt begin. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. Are you kidding? This close. Seek life fragment. I'll take them. Because then we know exactly four over that. Wow. Okay. Initi initiate episode fragment hunting. That's so many. What have we got here? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. I'm hoping that if there's a mobile vehicle bay fragment in there, that there could be a modification station somewhere as well. I doubt it. But one can hope, right? I mean, if anything, we'll get a lot of titanium. And we will be sure that we haven't missed anything in this area. My question is whether... Wow, that's a lot. My question is whether or not uh, we'll be able to add another range upgrade and then do another scan. I mean, obviously we can do another scan, but will another range upgrade extend the range even further is my question. Well, vehicle bay fragment. Okay. That's two over there. Looks like that quite deep down. Nope, they're right here. And another one. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're not running out of titanium anytime soon, folks. That's for sure. Look at all of the ones over there. Wow. Another mobile vehicle bay fragment. I didn't empty the inventory of the sea moth. That's bad. What we got in here? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. <laughs> How many? Like, this is what I mean, right? How many of these, like, of the same fragments do we need? I don't get it. <laughs> like, there's so many. At this point, it's easier for me to fly around with my sea glide here and just get the ones in the vicinity. Well, here could be a fragment. Okay, I don't think I'll get the scanner room from these, but... What on earth? How are you inside a cliff? I'm sorry, how are you inside a cliff? There's no cave opening. Hey fella, please don't kill me. Uh, copper. Nah, don't kill me, I said. Ugh. That's a large fragment. What on earth is that? Bioreactor. Already have that. Inventory full. Dang it. <laughs> I've barely gotten half. I haven't even gotten half of them. Okay. Right. We're emptying the sea moth. We're emptying my inventory for all irrelevant stuff. And we're hunting most of these down. This also means even, like, it'll require power, so solar, like, solar cells, probably. Um, we can place scanner rooms elsewhere. Look at that. Look at that. We can place scanner rooms elsewhere and use this method. Oh, the power's going down fast, though. Uh, inventory full. Dang it. Power's going down fast, and I am not going to have enough space for all of this. I'm going to need to turn some of it into... Into, uh, what's it called? Ingots, I think. Wow. Okay. Um, grab two more. Place some magnetite in here. Need to fill up the bioreactor. Give me some Chinese potatoes. Fill up bioreactor. Don't die on me now. <laughs> Please. Uh, go ahead and craft an ingot. I need to empty the sea moth. Get you in there. Empty sea moth for irrelevant stuff. Hide on the clock here. Get the suit out of here. I'll leave... I haven't been needing flares, honestly. Leave the batteries in there, because those are useful. 
I'm removing everything else. Won't be needing it. If I know that I'll be going somewhere radioactive, I'll grab the suit then. Let's get rid of that. I need the laser cut. I need the repair tool. Don't need the Pathfinder tool. Barely use it. Uh, not gonna put the empty battery in there for now. I'll leave the aerogel here. And I think that that is all I need on me. Okay, power is doing good for now. So now I can actually put some stuff into the sea moth as well. All right. There's one place I want to go, and that's over here. Like, why are there so many in one cluster? What have I missed? Have I missed that many fragments at... Wow. Or have I just not been to this yet? Sea moth fragment. I have not been to this. I actually have not been to... Why, why have I not been to this? This is so confusing. And why does it say frat? There we go. Would you go away? Uh, can I open this door? Nope. There we go. Some sort of entrance. Battery charger fragment. Propulsion cannon fragment. Opening door. Come on, put your back into it, man. Oh my god, propulsion cannon. <laughs> uh, so laser door. Need my laser cutter. That is. Cut through this. Don't know if this is the outside or if this is another room. Need to keep an eye on my oxygen. I am worried about the power over at the base, because it was going down. I may need to get more, like... This is just for the outside. That's fine. And there's another door over here that I can kick in, or cut down. <laughs> get the oxygen up. Let's go, 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 go. We are moving with efficiency, people. But yeah, maybe I need to play some more solar solar cells. I could spam solar panels onto both of the moon bay, what's it called? The, 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 the garage and also the big room. I don't know why I haven't thought of that. Oh. Primary issue with that though is the fact that um, we don't have power at night. <gasps> No way, we got the modification station fragment this entire time. It's been this close. Hello. Modification station. I am so happy. I am so happy. We can finally make it. Wow. Data box, what do we got? Lightweight, high capacity. Okay. Lightweight, high capacity tank. Lightweight, high capacity tank. Okay. Him that. I don't care how expensive it is. We're getting it. Uh, where is... Lightweight high capacity tank. Ooh, we got the thermal blade. Lightweight high capacity tank. Light up build allows for enhanced maneuverability. I'll take it. We can basically... Oh, oh. oh man. A lot of, just, of stuff just unlocked for us. Finally. Right, uh, how's my inventory looking? Not- Ow! What even? What bit me? I'm so confused. But okay, we got the stuff in there. I don't think I missed anything, considering... Like, the fragments have been taken care of, because we see them. Now. <laughs> what do you- what's this? Fire reactor fragment, okay. Oh, hey fella. Okay, that's a lot of fragments. I kind of would like to get all of them because then we know that within this range we have gotten all of them and everything. So I kind of want to try and do that if possible. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine remaining. That's doable. That is do that should be doable. I react to fragment. Got it. You know what? I'm gonna put some stuff in here. 
And by stuff, I mean I'm gonna put a lot of titanium in here. <laughs> I probably should make another source for titanium, because it is a, a resource that we use quite a lot of. So, maybe another... I think I have some empty lockers, actually. I think fragments are still popping up, because I didn't see this one when we were sailing back. I just... I'm right over there. But the one that we were, that was next... I'm pretty sure this was not on my display before. I think there's still more to be found. Maybe. Maybe I missed it. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven remaining. Oh, maybe I did go right past it. Oh, no. Hello, lovely base right over there. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, this is uh, this is a little bit narrow. Just a little bit. Tiny bit. Not sure if I like it. Uh, uh, hitting a lot of fishies. I'm so sorry. Uh-uh. It's still working. Because those four were not there before. So I'm gonna double back. Uh, the scanner room is keeping me busy. Another Seamoth fragment. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a lot of stuff around here. I'm really getting to know my uh, Seamoth well here and how... Gravity trap. And how... Like, th there's even more here now. Ay, ay, ay. Like, I'm jumping in and out of this thing. But, oops. Yeah, see, I'm I'm still learning. Still learning. But I'm getting used to the movement and also... Um, I took no damage. This thing's tough. It's fine. It's fine. Get on my... I'm so sorry. That did take damage. Okay. Right. I'm just trying to be efficient, because there's so many- another one just popped up. I have space for two more. The sea moth is full. I have no water or food to consume. It's- <laughs> I can only take two more before I have to go back to camp. Base, not camp. Oh, I don't hit me. This one. And... Two over here. Another one right <laughs> Oh, man. Yep. Sea glide fragment. And that's it. No more space. I have to go back to base before I can hunt for more. But this is good. We're getting a lot of titanium. We need it. That's fine. And we got the modification table. Uh, that's amazing. I'm actually not going to pop the Seamoth into its bay right now, because I don't want it to charge. It doesn't need a charge at the moment. I want all the power going to the Welcome scanner room. Aboard, Good timing. Perfect timing. Right, how much for a... Locker. Quartz. Easy. 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 I was just over there. Okay. Quartz. One quartz. Oh, I don't need that. I forgot that I said that I have empty lockers. <laughs> this is getting it. This is going to get full, though. In... Yeah. Almost. Okay, cool. All right. Climb down. It's getting nighttime. Sorry for the blinking lights. Uh, to replant you. Eat a bunch myself. One, two, three, four... Put you in. Put you in. Eat you. Put more Chinese potatoes in here. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Just keep the scanner room alive. That's all I'm asking right now. Okay, extra water. I'm not going to be carrying it around with me because my inventory is going to get fuller than... Like... Then I'll need to actually go ahead and... Did we have a bunch over there? Or did I get them all? I must have gotten them all. Okay. Oh yeah. Empty the Seamoth. That's another good idea. Boom, 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 boom. Get that. Nice. Alright. Jumping. Back in. We continue the hunt. Okay, so this fragment I don't quite understand. Because it's literally like within this rock found like formation there's like there's no entrance to this unless it's on 
like the other side somehow I don't know if it's a bug or if there's actually something on the other side but I like I actually can't get to it <laughs> so I can't get this one it's just weird I'm gonna have to abandon that one but get everything else that I can that's a lot of fragments in this. Have I not been here either? That's a cool cave entrance. Doesn't look like I've been inside this thing. Question is... How to get in? Door? That can't be opened. Uh... Aha! Found it. Oh, wow, yeah, I have not been in here. Huh. Okay. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. What on earth is this? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, Damaged wiring. Use repair tool. Well, that's cool. There we go. Yeah, let's repair that real quick with my uh, smart tool here. Hello. <laughs> What we got? Well, we could be a fragment. Stasis rifle. Ooh, that's new. That's new. And I have what I need to take it to make that as well. Actually. And hold on, we could be a fragment. <laughs> but that's pretty awesome. Okay. This goes... Oh, oh, dang. Uh, uh, take it. Yep, got everything other than this. Okay, and Seamoth is where? Panic. Slight panic. <laughs> Slight panic. <laughs> and get in here. Okay, so this is another weird one. This is the second one that is, like, weird underneath the ground where I can't reach it. So again, don't know if there's something in there or not. But, ugh. Get away. Don't know. They disappeared. We ran out of power, I think. I think we ran out of power. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't missing that many. Okay. Uh, I guess that forces us to go home, because... Uh... Oh, wait. No. Oh, I guess we just got out of range. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, I don't... Or maybe the power just got back on. So yeah, that one I can't get to. I can't get or can't get to it. Don't know which one of them it is, but it is what it is. Uh, one, two, three, four. I can get four more, as being one of them. One, two, three. Hmm. I mean, if it, I am willing to leave behind two titanium, and if if it means finishing this, and I know one of those, like that one's a, a dead end. One of those is a dead end, so there's three left technically, and a lot more just popped up. <laughs> oh man, what is this? Like, weren't I? Just, wasn't I just over there? It's still finding them. Right, I just want to see where those are, if it's where I literally just were. And I think we're gonna call it the search for fragments for this episode at least. Because I've been doing this for a while now and we have gotten a lot of them. But I also want to make some of the new stuff that we found and it feels like I can just keep, keep going with this. Which I kind of want to, but I also want to do other stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is just never ending. Which is cool. So I'm gonna leave these here. I can pick one last one. That's the one that I literally just like couldn't get to. So I'm gonna get this. And that's gonna be the last one for now. And then I'm gonna turn off, if I can, the scanner room. But that's very good. That means we have a very, very effective way of getting resources as well. 
because it's not only able to scan after fragments, it can also scan a bunch of other stuff, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But it looks like we got all of the ones southwest, west, and south of our base. But it looks like the ones we're missing are like northeast-ish. So that's good to know. Very good to know. Very effective. Thank you. Good to be back. Never mind, there's plenty north as well. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Right, let me get rid of some of this. Never mind, that's full. We'll take this in use instead. Empty all of this. And then go ahead and get rid of the silver and the copper. There we go. Okay, awesome. Let's go in here. Can I... Wow. <laughs> okay. Halt the scanning. Thank you. So the range, I think, is probably like 500 meters or something. I don't know. But like, this is all the stuff that we can search for. Metal cell which quartz, limestone chunks, shale chunk. What if I search for the ant rex? So I can actually search for rex and I can see if there's something that I can try and visit every single one of them and I can see if there's one that we haven't actually found yet. So that's a wreck, for example, but I don't want to do that. Shale chunks. There's some down there. Shale chunk. I just, I'm just going to leave that running and see what happens. We will get some more of these potatoes. Both growing and into the bioreactor. But that was good. That was really good. And speaking of power, do I have I have plenty of good batteries, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and like change some of these up and recharge them already now. Just because I might as well. There we go. And grab you, charge you. Which is gonna drain our power a lot, I think. Right. Stasis rifle. <laughs> uh, computer chip. I need a computer chip. I don't remember what I need for a computer chip. I think it's gold. Maybe. Uh, okay. Need two of you, I think. Yep, two of you. I do need a battery. Do need some titanium. What do we need for the computer chip? Computer chip is copper wire, gold, and two table coral. I can get that easily. And I wonder if I can use a dead battery. It says one out of one. And so far it looks like we only have one shield chunk in the area. Uh, but here, yeah, these are the ones we need. Take. Chop. Take. There we go. Mm hmm. Yeah, so far we only have one shield chunk. I might go for it. See what we get. If we only have one. Uh, right. Go in here. Electronics. Computer chip. And that should be the stasis rifle. Yep. Freezes physical objects in place. I don't know if it's something that I need, need, but... Oh, it's big. <laughs> Freezes physical objects in place. So is that like fish? Um, oh. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps at Boreal 9, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tame Star War. <laughs> if he can do all that... You can survive one more day. Oh. Oh, I held down right click to like aim. Okay. So that's how you use it. Got it. I don't again, I don't think it I don't think it's lethal. What happens if I hold it down? Oh, you charge it. Oh, that's so cool. And absolutely nothing happened. <laughs> okay, that's good to have. 
Uh, don't know if I should keep it on me constantly. I guess I will for now. Don't know what those sounds were. Yeah, so far it says only one. Which is fair. I think it is supposed to be like a rare resource thing. Um, right, get rid of that. Uh, I, we're not, we're not gonna make the thermal plant. <laughs> we're not gonna be making the thermal plant today. I wanna make the modification station. Which, I should have everything that I need. So, that's magnetite. I want, that's silver. Lead. There we go. One lead. One diamond. Another computer chip. Dang it. So I need... One gold. And I need copper wire. I have zero copper. Okay. Zero copper. So I guess we will be going for that, and I'm hoping that I can get some, um... Some, what's it called? Uh, copper. On the way. Okay. That is fine. Let's go, then. Let's go, go, go. I want this modification station. ASAP. Okay, it's apparently right here. Oh, yeah, it is. Gold. <laughs> gold out of... Out of all things, I get gold. Uh... Well, I guess I can search for sandstone, like, places, unless I can find it right here. Titanium. That's another thing here. That's just gonna be lead. Silver. I, can sc I haven't scanned you yet. Get over here. Biter. Oh. Okay, yeah, you are a biter, aren't you? Oh, that looks so cool. Biter. Uh, I still have to stay so rifle equipped. Come on. Copper. That's one copper. And we get another copper. Please. There we go. Got a second piece of copper. That should be everything, I think. Okay, that's just a cut mark from me cutting into the, <laughs> the thing. Okay. I was like, what's that glowing in the distance? Alright, got that. Apparently, no more seal croppings. Or whatever they were called. Well, that's fine. Uh, maybe it can't scan that deep. But well, I could maybe show that there's more in that cave. Potentially. That wouldn't be half bad. And I'm pretty sure I did not grab... Mm -hmm. Me did not grab this. Pick. Pick that. Nice. What are you? You're one of the eye thingies. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And... Copper wire. Make the computer chip. And then, ladies and gentlemen, not with the stasis rifle, but with the habitat builder, I assume, we can make the modifications table. And we're gonna make it right here. That's so perfect. Mm hmm. This is a big moment. We got the modification station. Look at all this stuff. Thermal blade, lightweight high capacity tank, ultra high capacity tank. Lightweight build allows for enhanced maneuverability, additional air capacity, ultra glide fins. We can make all of this. Swim charge fins, wirelessly charges your health tool while you swim. That's sick, but I can't make the polyaniline. But I can't make this. Applies pursuits to entities in range. That would be useful. C module is depth mark too important because that will allow us to explore even more. Easy to make as well. Honestly, we're gonna jump straight to the mark three. Bronze suit depth module mark two. Can't make that because of the nickel ore. Bronze suit, oh, Cyclops. Bronze suit, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We have made some serious progress today. Because we got the modification stable. That is amazing. And in the next episode, we're going to be making a lot of that. Which means, hopefully, we'll be able to do a bunch of progress and a bunch more exploration. I want to make one thing, though. I want to make one thing, if I can. 
I have a battery here. I have an extra survival knife. That's good. Uh, I'll just have to use one of the charged one, even though it, it hurts. I want to make the thermal blade. Boom. Look at that. That's going to hopefully do more damage. It also sounds like it means business. <laughs> and the power's going down. Oh, dear me. Uh, can I have some potatoes? Thank you. Get me out of here. Power is going down. That is the thing about... Oh, come on. Make more power, please. Please keep it stable. <laughs> please keep it stable. Are you charged? You are charged. Good. Don't know if that has a negative effect. You know what? I should probably stop the scanner room. That's what's taking the power. No more of these. Uh, I can scan for Stalker Tooth. Like, this is good stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call this episode here. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. And it's turning daytime as well for the next episode. Perfect. We, of course, need to work on the Neptune, like, launcher thing. Don't remember what we needed for the launch. Like, the rocket boosters. Uh... Nikolua. Yeah, don't have that. Which means we need more exploration. So this is perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it here. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.